Okay, here's a redo, and I don't usually do these videos in the morning, but this time I am, because I don't have a choice. Well, I have a choice, but I like to do, I like to complete all my reviews and stuff. So we're going to talk about, first and foremost, is some of all fears in 4K. This may be crooked, but who really cares? Okay, um, first of all, I have to say that this is a movie I've watched over a long periods of time in my life. I've seen it at least a few times, and on my channel you see the VHS unboxing. Um, that's the last time I watched it before this. This is one of the worst blue, Dolby, um, actually not even Dolby Vision, the worst HDR releases I've ever watched. When we look it up online, Blu-ray.com gives it praising reviews. I give it shit reviews. Everything was super dark on my television. I, I, I know how to adjust settings. So what I usually do when I find something that's too dark is, and I can't get the settings right, I switch it down to HDR 10 or HDR 10 plus or whatever the hell it goes down to. So that's exactly what I did. It did get a little brighter when I used it, but the movie looked horrible. I don't know why they wasted their time even converting this movie over. It's a very good movie, don't get me wrong. Um, got a terrible rating, I thought it was good. But, I can tell you I just didn't like the restoration on it. I thought it was piss poor, I thought they could have done a better job, and I really think they could have put more effort into it overall. If you are a person that is a movie collector, um, or anything like that, I'm not going to tell you to stay away from it. But, um, actually, you know what? Here's how I put it. It's not just the 4K Blu-ray you get out of this. It's the, um, what's it called? You get the digital copy, and you get the Blu-ray, too. I was a little disappointed when I put the Blu-ray in to find that the special features were all from, like, 2002. It was a DVD special feature. They never poured in anything over. And these are books, these are what... These are, um, uh, what's it called? Jack Ryan is all from bu a book, I think. What is it? Originate from, I'm pretty sure it originates from a book. You'd think that they would take a little more time to put more special features on the new releases. They didn't do anything. Um, well, what can you expect? That's probably why Best Buy still had it. Because they have very, very little amount of movies. And the movies they do have all suck. Except for a few of them that I bought. And one of them I was was a sucker. I bought the sucker. <laughs> um, the movie was about two hours too. Um, in fact, um, you know what's it called? Oh, jeez. Ben Affleck wasn't that bad in the movie, but he wasn't great either. Morgan Freeman was great, but he wasn't in most of the movies. So I don't understand it. Why bring Morgan Freeman to a movie just to have him sit there for maybe 15, 20 minutes and then you never see him the rest of the movie? Makes no sense. All right. Bye-bye.